what do you order at Starbucks? So I don't go to Starbucks that much, but whenever I do go, I usually either order a caramel frappuccino, uh, um, a vanilla bean like milkshake basically, it's not coffee, or the sh raspberry, strawberry, passion fruit tea. I think it's what it is. So one of those three things. Um, one thing in your closet you can't live without. The number one thing I cannot live without is a white t-shirt. Um, it's basic, it goes with everything, can layer it under anything. White is my favorite color to wear, it looks really clean, so love a white t-shirt, can live without it. Um, one thing most people probably don't know about you is that I'm really kind of a, kind of a big nerd. Um, I'm really shy and introverted and quiet and I keep to myself a lot. Um, I really didn't have, I would guess I was popular in school, I think the only reason I was popular was because I had the same group of friends since elementary school. And I kind of talked to other people because I guess, I guess because, I mean, I hate to sound shallow, but I think it's because, you know, I, I dress cute and, you know, other people thought I was cute. So I, it was, it was easy to make friends that way, but I definitely never like initiated a lot of conversations or friendships with people. So I'm really shy and introverted and quiet. And I don't think a lot of people know that about me. Um, okay. Number four is one thing you want to do before you die. Um, the one thing I want to do before I die, like kind of like on a lighthearted note, is I want to be in a music video. I love music so much. Um, I, I have no talent in music whatsoever, so you know I could never be a singer or performer or anything like that. But I would love to be like in a music video in any ca capacity. I want to have some screen time, you know. I don't necessarily need to be the like the lead guy in the music video, although that would be amazing if I could be like the lead like love interest in a music video. I'd love that, but just to be in a music video in a song that I like, I'd love to do before I die. And then a little bit more on a serious note, before I die, because you know I could die tomorrow, so I never, you never know. I want to have a kid. Um, I really am looking forward to like being a parent and raising a child to be a responsible, loving, caring, productive person in the world. I really want to, you know, I just want to raise a child with good morals and with good beliefs, and just you know teach them to love everybody and. I just, I'm really looking forward to being a father, so I definitely want to have a kid before I die and be in a music video. Um, next, one food you cannot live without. The number one food I cannot live without is Flaming Hot Cheetos, point blank period, no questions asked. I love Hot Cheetos. I have loved Hot Cheetos since I was like in middle school. Um, if I go like two weeks without having a bag, I start to like get go through like withdrawals. I just crave them so much. Um, I can eat like a bag in like a minute. I love Hot Cheetos. So that's one thing I cannot live without for sure. And then, um, what quote or phrase do you live your life by, uh, or do you live your life kind of according to? Um, this is kind of a big one for me because I love mantras and quotes and phrases and things that kind of keep me motivated and keep me moving in life. Um, so there's not one, there's really three that I really like. Um, the first one would be Luton's Law, ooh, sorry, Newton's Law, which states that for every action there is a equal or greater reaction, um, meaning that everything that you put out kind of comes back to you. It's kind of like karma, um, or it's just all the energy that you put out into the world, all the energy will come back to you either, you know, equally or greater. So whether that be positive energy, negative energy, just love, whatever it is that you're putting out there, it's just going to come back to you. So live your life in a way that you would want, you know, things to happen to you, basically. Um, I'm a big believer in positivity. I don't believe in a lot of negativity. I don't preach negativity. I don't talk about negative things a lot. I'm really positive. Um, like, you can call me Mr. Brightside. People make fun of me for it. Call me Oprah because I'm just always, you know, I'm, I'm a really a, like a glass half full kind of guy, not glass half empty. I always try and look on the brighter side. I always just take things for what they are and try to try and learn from my mistakes, just move forward. Um, I don't like to be negative and like dwell on things and make things better than they really are. Um, so that is a really big one to um, Newton's Law. The third one, I mean the second one is everything happens for a reason and I mean that's self-explanatory. I believe that to no end that everything in this life happens for a reason. Nothing happens to you that you know you cannot, that you can't, that, you, that you're not ready for, that you can't, that you can't um, deal with. It all happens for a reason. It's all going to lead to something bigger and greater and it's all a lesson. Um, and third one is, what's the third one? Oh my gosh, I totally forgot the third one. Oh my god, I just had a brain fart. Third one is 
everything happens for a reason. Oh, life is what you make it. Life is exactly what you make it. Like you could come from anywhere and go anywhere you want to be in this world and become anybody you want to be in the world as long as you believe in it and you are determined and you don't let nothing stand in your way and you have a tunnel vision and all you see is kind of the goal at the end of the tunnel. Um, anything you want in this world is possible. You just got to make it happen. So life is exactly what you make it to be. So those are the three things. Uh, the next one was what do you like and dislike about the YouTube community? I love obviously that you know you can connect with people all around the world. I can share my interests with people who have interests like I do. Uh, I can make lots of friends around the world. Um, it's a good way. It's a good creative outlet for me. Um, I enjoy the feedback I get from people. Just all the you know obvious things are what I enjoy about the YouTube community. What I dislike about YouTube is definitely the copycats because being that you know I put myself out there and divulge my secrets and my shopping places and show you guys how I put outfits together and how I dress it's I do that to inspire you guys and to kind of like light a fire under you and make you want to do things on your own but just inspired maybe by what I do or how I did it or where I got my stuff from um, I don't expect you to like copy me and I do find that there are some people who I've noticed on YouTube who kind of take what I do and copy it exactly which I mean, it is what it is. If you're comfortable with that, then that's fine with me. I, for one, don't ever want to be known as a copycat. Um, I also don't do things, though. I don't try and be original, like, out of spite, because I just, for the sake of being original, you know? Like, oh, I'm going to do this because nobody else is doing it. I just want to be original. I just do what the fuck I want to do, and I like it, and I hope other people like it. Um, I don't, like, think about being original because I want to be. It's just who I am. So for people who do copy me or copy anybody, I just don't, I think it's really uncool. So I definitely don't like that about YouTube is that, you know, I put myself out there so I understand it, but it sucks. So I don't like that. Um, number one most listened to song on iTunes. Um, it's Girls Loud, Call the Shots. Just, it is what it is. It's my favorite song, so that's that. Um, what kind of style would you describe yourself as having? I don't like this question. I know a lot of people who have made this video don't like this question. Um, I don't like. I don't want to put labels on myself. I don't want to put myself in a box or define you know who I am. I and I don't do things for like I don't try and be grungy or try and be chic or try and be like modern or try and be like old school. I just wear what I want to wear and wear what feels good, wear what looks good to me. And so I would describe my style as being free. Point blank period. I'm just just free to do what I want and I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks about it. Um, favorite number. Favorite number seven. I also like 18. Don't know why. Just do. Two hobbies. Aside from YouTube, obviously, and blogging, um, I'm really into decorating. Um, it's not something I kind of plan as being my career. Um, I enjoy it, and I wouldn't mind if, to some extent, I had a career in interior decorating. For right now, I just love doing it as a hobby for myself. Um, I do have one client that I work with that I'm helping decorate her house. Um, but I will do it for any of my friends just because I love doing it. Um, it's really, I've really loved doing it since I was really little. I've always been, like when I was a kid, I used to change my room around like every month. In the middle of the night, I'd just wake up and be like, I don't like this. And I'd move my bed around, move my bookshelves, move my TV, that kind of thing. So I love decorating. And then YouTube and blogging. Um, two pet peeves. Okay, one would be people who don't say thank you because I think thank you is one of the most important things you could say to anybody. Because at the end of the day, everybody in the world just wants to know that they're appreciated and that what they do matters and so if you're not saying thank you for something that somebody is doing for you then I I just don't think it's cool you know because you never know what kind of day that person's having or that one thank you that you say to that person might like brighten up their day or make them feel a little bit better about themselves or make them you know look on the bright side so always say thank you like as many times as you need to every time I have a waiter who pours refills my drink I say thank you every time he refills my drink because you just never know how his day is going and you know you just always be sure and say thank you for everything so i don't like when people don't say thank you and then i also this is kind of weird and i know i'm kind of stupid feeling this way but i don't like when people ask me a lot of questions because i'm really i'm really like i said i'm really quiet and introverted and when people ask me a question and i answer it i tell you what i feel is necessary for you to know to get the answer you know what i mean and then when you come back at me with all these dumb, like, inappropriate questions that are unnecessary, it just really irks my nerves. So I don't like that at all. My sister does that a lot. My best friend does it. And it's really irritating. 
And I know I'm weird for feeling that way because they're just asking questions, but I don't like it. And then number three is guilty pleasure. So this one was kind of hard because I was thinking about movies and TV shows and music and people and things like that that I like that maybe were a guilty pleasure. And everybody that was coming to my mind or everything that was coming to my mind, I wasn't really ashamed to like it. I was, you know, I'm a proud liker of everything that I like. So I'm not like ashamed to say that I like something or because, if, you know, if you don't like it, then fuck you. So I just really don't care. Um, but the one thing that I thought of that was kind of like embarrassing a little bit is I think Justin Bieber is really sexy. <laughs> and I know that's really gross because he's a little boy. I mean, he's not a little boy. He's like, I mean, he's a, um, you know, he's almost like, he's a grown teenager, but he's still little and he's like, he looks like a little boy. But I just think he's so cute. He has so much swag. Like he has more swag and more charisma than like any guy I, I've ever dated. And this is like a little white Canadian boy. So I just, I, I think he's so adorable and I really like him and I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit it. So that is my guilty pleasure. Um, so that's all 13 of them. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Definitely post this video um, if you haven't already. So if you haven't made a video about 13 personal questions and I tag you because I want to see what they are. This is a fun little video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed mine. Um, like always, check out my blog. Follow me on Twitter. The links will be down below, and until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.